Hello, my stationary loving friends. Uh, I am currently in Prague and I realized that a thing that I've never done before is I've never taken you to my favorite stationary shops here in my original hometown. So this time we're gonna go and check out four of my favorites and they're kind of uh, spanning all across from very designy to very traditional. And hopefully you're gonna fall in love with at least one of them, which is gonna make you go and buy a flight to Prague right now and spend a lot of money on amazing paper design made in Prague. Also, excuse my nasalness, I just got over a cold and I realized I probably sound a bit like someone from Duckburg, but that's okay, I love uh, all the ducks from Duckburg. It was my favorite Disney show when I was little. Let's start with Papelote, which is a store which is located in the new town, kind of close to the river. It takes a bit of time to find. Uh, it's not really kind of like en route when you're doing the classic touristy stuff, but it's really worth finding because even just the area that you will have to go through to find it is actually really charming and really cute. So an interesting fact about Papelote is that it actually started as a thesis project of this uh, graphic design student in Prague. And she found out that people were actually quite interested in buying the products that she created for her school project. So she, 10 years ago, started this little store, this little brand, and nowadays you can visit it and find a lot of cool paper-based stuff. They make amazing little notebooks and sketchbooks and another one of their kind of like signature products is their book covers. So you can get them in a lot of different like colors and fabric finishes and they have them in like, you know, like small paperback size and like a big sort of like textbook size and they're really cute. Like very nice present for someone who likes reading if they don't necessarily love writing or doodling. Uh, I also really like their little like rubber bands which you can use kind of universally on any notebook. Uh, you can put like your own pens in them and then you don't need a pencil case, which is amazing I think. So I'm gonna show you what I got in Papelote this time. Uh, I got these two notebooks. One of them is made out of a recycled kind of like topographic map of Czech Republic. Uh, the other one is a bit more just kind of stylish and designy, just this like checkered one. I also like that they make stickers, kind of like limited uh, number of designs of them, but uh, my favorite ones are these little diary ones. And also they started making these Czech ones, which is clearly just like a souvenir. I think that specifically to someone who has spent a bit more time in Czech Republic. This is amazing because like it has these like symbols, just, you know, beer, more obvious one, but also it has the letter Z, which, you know, most people who come to Czech Republic and maybe like put some effort into trying to uh, learn Czech will find that it's impossible and Czech language just should not be approached by That's learners. So hard. Anywho, this is the rubber band I was telling you about. Obviously the pens are my own but I love that you can basically buy this and use it on any sketchbook that you like. This is for the A5 one, but they do bigger ones as well. And they come in like all the colors. Next one up is located in Letna and it's called Papirna. 
and Letna is an amazing district. I think that is very up and coming and most visitors or like traditional tourists don't really know about it. So, you know, if you're the sort of person who wants to, you know, like travel like a local, then maybe you should go to Letna because it is like you will feel very locally there, but it's still very like English friendly if you need that. There's a lot of museums, there's a lot of parks, a uh, lot of amazing cafes, waffles, there's everything. So yeah, this was my first time visiting Papirna and I was just overwhelmed by the coolness of that little store. So like the main point of their offer is these exercise books that come in various sizes and they come in 36 different colors. So if you want to kind of like create, let's say like an autumn roll palette of your notebooks for school, they are the place to go. Also, what's really cool is that you can actually customize uh, anything that you buy there because they have this little station with stamps. A lot of them are quite unique. I think that they have like a like anatomical heart stamp. That might be a bit too edgy for me. I don't really like organs on my stationery, but if you're cooler than me, you will probably like that. They also have a lot of products that are kind of like a limited edition. They are more expensive and they're often made from quite unique recycled materials. I'm going to actually show you right now what we got. Okay, so to illustrate what I meant by the colors, I got these two little like A6 notebooks and they're both dotted in that sort of like little square dots um, in the kind of like pumpkin and maroon. Mmm, all to me, all to me. Yes. Then this really pretty, very recycled looking one, uh, but I just really liked the, the way the material looked. Also, like you can see like a bit of a map here as well. Just nice. And again, like the paper used in it, I think is very drawing friendly, which is not always the case. And for Simon, I got this. So this is apparently like a recycled floppy disk from like an old, like a dairy company uh, that they found like on someone's attic or something and decided to make little notebooks out of it. This basically counts as like an art project for them. Uh, yeah, Papirna was started by two friends uh, some time ago. They opened their store five years ago and uh, yeah, they, they take it very seriously as a like a uh, art and sort of like recycled goods design endeavor. It's very cool. Now, if you're a true hardcore fan of this channel, so you watch both the Edinburgh and Traveli videos and my stationary videos, then you're probably familiar with the brand that I'm going to talk about now, which is uh, Kohinoor. Uh, that's basically one of the oldest companies Czech Republic has, period. So Kohinoor is amazing if you're looking for gifts that are both affordable and designy and that they have a, a bit more of that like historical design. So like if someone is really into design that might be coming from the 50s and 60s and 70s, Kohinoor is the place for them. The previous two shops are for people who love modern stuff, but uh, this is for the, the old 
retro soles. I would say that the quintessential gift from Kohinoor is definitely the set of stackable watercolors. Um, they are not really like an artist grade watercolors, but they are just fine for like student needs or kind of like casual watercoloring. I know a lot of people who use them fairly often. Uh, I like using them as well because they're very practical. Honestly, like traveling with this is easier than traveling with a big pan, if you ask me. Uh, you can get these in a lot smaller stacks as well and if you get them in Prague they're going to be so much cheaper than if you get them in Britain. Kohinoor has a couple of shops in Prague and some of them definitely have more of like a local centric vibe and some of them are clearly touristy. From what I noticed the prices are pretty consistent across all of these shops uh, no matter who they're kind of focused on so you don't have to worry about visiting the most touristy one which is the one we are featuring in this video because I think it's the cutest. Bear in mind that it is quite small so if you kind of like run into a tourist group you might have a hard time getting in so sometimes you have to wait a little but yeah I mean that's what I had to do to shoot footage for this video. Um, another thing that I think is really cute from Kohinoor is uh, these mechanical pencils. Uh, they have such a good kind of retro look and they come in so many colors. Uh, they're called the Versatile, you know, versatile. And I have them in this like kind of like warm red and uh, mustard and purple and nice orange. And again, like you can see that uh, I just cannot hide my love of amazing autumnal color schemes. They're great. The last place I really wanted to feature in this video is called Zlatá Loď and it's actually a bit less of a stationary shop and a bit more of a just art supplies shop but as far as art supplies in Prague go this is probably my favorite which might be mainly because they're like the only one I know about that actually sells Copic markers and all the kind of adjacent Copic products they're really good for that but in this video I'm gonna point out a different thing about them apart from having a really great selection of uh, art supplies ranging from student grade to artist grade you can also find like a this cute kind of packed away room that's mostly dedicated to just paper and notebooks and sketchbooks and whenever I go there I always find sketchbooks that I've never seen anywhere else before part of them are just like simple European imported German French sort of paper companies 
you know, travel notebooks, things like that. You can like even get just like single sheets of paper, all of that. But my personal favorite is the notebooks that they clearly source from like a local Czech, this like independent maker. And I'm gonna show you some of them because I already bought one in the past and I bought one this time as well. Last time I got this one, which is a nice uh, landscape sketchbook with a nice little rubber band and the images used in it are like vintage images of old kind of uh, adventurers and their discoveries. Uh, this is Aurora Borealis and I think this is somewhere in Africa. So this time I visited, uh, I had, uh, you know, the sort of autumn fever coming up and also actual fever coming up. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, I found this one, which again, you can see that it's uh, sort of illustrated or like it's made using old sort of like scientific print sort of thing. The last cool little thingy I found in Tlatalog this time was this a little pencil case, which uh, seems to have like a, the perfect size really. I love this like wine color on the inside. It has kind of like a, almost like a Japanese vibe to it in design. It's kind of like the tra traditional minimalistic Japanese uh, kimono fabric. It's really cute. I, I also felt it was very autumn-y. I just like, I'm, I'm currently going through that phase of the year and just like, this looks autumn-y, I need it. Need it. Okay, so those were my four favorite art and stationery shops in Prague. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to any of these, or if you've never been to Prague, if any of these would totally make you want to go to Prague. Trust me, there's a lot of other things that are amazing about the city, so, you know, don't just, don't just look at this video. Go, go make proper research. Going to Prague usually isn't too expensive and it's an amazing city, and if you need any tips, definitely ask me down below. If you'd like to follow more of my adventures when it comes to travel and stationery, follow me on my Instagram at kakiblog. Uh, if you'd like to see some of my artsy endeavors, uh, follow me on kakibot. Cool beans! Hopefully you enjoyed looking at pretty, pretty paper stuff and I will see you soon.